One of the suggestions being discussed in Victoria at the moment is that uh, maybe uh, they have to get rid of the number of golf courses in Victoria and replace them with houses. What do you reckon? I mean, you're never going to catch me saying no to more housing supply. Uh, that's it. I don't think that that's necessarily the best option. I think we need to reform our zoning more broadly. And it needs to be our single family zoning. It needs to be upscaled to mid mid-sized. We need to have more townhouses, more uh, mid-density apartments. The mid-density should be upscaled to high density. I think putting golf courses at the center and making this a big fight in these green spaces may be counterproductive to the people that are wanting to see change. That said, like I'm, I'm not totally sympathetic to the idea of this reserved golf course green space for only people that are able to be members of the club and are of a certain wealthy elite, and that's stopping people from being able to have homes. Yeah, that's true in terms of private. I mean, the public golf courses, which is in part what the, the City of Sydney is discussing about uh, whether it's 18 or it's 9, um, you know, again, I get the golfers and I know the people are going to be angry at the mere suggestion of this stuff, but I'm intrigued about where the line is between, you know what, every other sport has a space. Funnily enough, golf needs quite a lot of space for its sport. And yes, there's public cl uh, uh, private clubs, but there has to be public access. Otherwise, it is just, you know, sort of polo in the city. Uh, and I don't <laughs> think any of us want that for our, our countries, but... What do you reckon? Look, there's nothing that gets people more hot under the collar than a debate about a golf course, and I <laughs> should know this as a councillor. But, yeah, of course, in the City of Sydney, uh, we've worked with the New South Wales State Government uh, basically to have some catch-up on green space. So the Moore Park Golf Course will be halved from 18 to 9 holes. That's a State Government lease decision, uh, and that will open up more open green space for the surrounding suburbs in places like Green Square, which are the densest part of Australia and not just by a little bit. We're talking, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of new apartments, uh, 60,000 residents, really dense, and we, knew, we do need some green space catch-up. That said, just next door in the inner west, uh, we've had a Labor Mayor, Darcy Byrne, starkly oppose uh, the shutting down of a golf course I mean, look, you'd expect me to say this, Paul Murray, but it's why local governments are good decision makers. Local government are good it's decision all, makers. It's why I'm going to say because, because, to um, I just because it's important yeah. that local factors come into play here. Yeah. And I don't think there's sort of one international answer about shutting down the golf courses to solve housing affordability. Yeah. Different things apply in different places. All right, I need winners and losers. Let's go bumper stickers. Who's your winner-loser this week? Uh, winner is probably actually Gina Reinhart. She's done very well wellness budget. The Made in Australia, I think, is a really a terrible idea that is is isolationist. It is encouraging more, um, more mining. We're not having the best people doing the best things. And so we're talking about all of this green stuff. We're talking about... Um, I think Andrew Forrest is more excited oh, about Andrew it. Andrew Forrest yeah. is also yeah. very happy yeah, about all of the energy it. proposals. I think those are our two big winners. Yeah. Uh, the loser is going to be Jim Chalmers. I think this is a budget that is not good for young people. Oh. Ultimately, uh, it's going to increase the deficit in the long run, and that's going to hurt young people with the high debt. Good stuff. Love your chat. Look, winner is Jim Chalmers. I think he obviously delivered a brilliant <laughs> budget, but uh, losers, and we are a bit disappointed about this, are local governments. We were looking for more funding in the federal budget, and we were disappointed to see the government not deliver on their promise of fair increases for local government. Good stuff. Thank you, guys. Do appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend.